Kia ora and welcome. I'm Tim. And I'm Logan. And today we're going to show you some exciting things to do and eat in Tamaki Nakoda, Auckland. Right, first port of call, we're getting some food. We're gonna head to Fed Deli, just back over there. It's a bit of an establishment in Auckland. It's owned by Al Brown, celebrity chef, if you will. Uh, it does American-style diner food, but it's really elevated and it's really nice. How's that coffee? Coffee here is always absolute classic. You can get unlimited refills. You can have your options of cream, milk, or anything you really like. And as long as you're here, they keep filling it up. It's quite unusual for New Zealand. Typically, we would do like a flat white or a latte, something like that. Not from the top, but um, it's really nice to have high quality food to buy. So we used to come to this place quite a lot, uh, mostly as a date night idea. So they do amazing desserts. You can get kind of three big slices of pie for about twenty dollars ish. Um, amazing, and kind of have to roll yourself out at the end of the night. But <laughs> truly satisfying, um, but equally awesome for brunch. Okay, Tim. So that looks pretty good. What did you order? I ordered the uh, ash pastrami. Mm. So it's like. Uh, potatoes and pastrami, mustard, and a fried egg on top. Uh, and of course, pretty good. You can also get it with um, smoked fish instead of pastrami. Let's get into it. Let's get them a bit of bite, a bit of the mustard. Good. So good. <laughs> Some buttery potatoes, salty pastrami, and this mustard. It's not like a super knocking it off type mustard, it's like a sweet, slightly sweet. Mm. Yeah, it's I think it's fair to say it's not the most aesthetically pleasing dish, but boy, it looks oh, tasty. It is. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Okay, so I went for the griddle cakes. Um, I have a bit of a sweet tooth, so it's a no brainer for me. They look pretty good. Got like a cinnamon butter here, some blueberries, and just the most lovely fluffy uh, cakes. So I'm just gonna dive in. Okay, that's pretty much empty plates for us. Really awesome place. We really enjoyed that. Any passing remarks? No, just be kind to yourself. Come to Federal Deli. Welcome to High Street. This is a great place to do some shopping, pick up books, um, CDs, records, um, some art as well. There's great cafes and bars up and down the street, which is a semi walkable street, as good as Auckland does. We have closed some of the car options down. It's a really great place just to go for a walk and pick up some goodies while you're here. Right now, we're headed down to the viaduct, um, so it's a nice, easy walk down the hill. So welcome to the Viaduct. Here's a great place to go to bars, um, lots of fancy restaurants, and we've hosted the America's Cup twice here. As you see, there's a lot of boats. What we're gonna do is walk through to Silo Park, check out the view of the harbour and the harbour bridge, 
and we should get some shots of the skyline looking back. It's a super fun place to hang out if you want to hang out with your family, have a picnic, um, or just get some good views of Auckland. And it's completely free activity. So we've just reached Salo Park. This is quite a cool spot. There's something really interesting about the contrast between kind of the marine affluence of the area and this really industrial tableau. Um, it's a cool place to hang. Apparently they shot a scene from Cowboy Bebop here. Next stop. The ferry terminal. And then. Devonport. Woo! All right, we've arrived now at the ferry terminal. This is the old ferry building here. Uh, it's been around a long, long time. It's made out of granite and sandstone. There was some thought the city might knock it down, I think in like the 60s or 70s. But luckily Auckland rallied and they saved the building. I think it's an important part of our skyline. All aboard the ferry to Britomart. No, it's Devonport. We're going to Devonport. <laughs> Devonport is a super picturesque, very cute little, it feels like a seaside town but it is a suburb of Auckland where you can see beautiful old cottages, there's a great walk all the way around the waterfront, and there's a nice little village full of little shops and cafes, but what we're doing is we're heading up to the mountain and we're going to go for a walk up. made it to the top of Maunga Ika, North Head in Devonport. This is a really nice spot. As you can see in the background there's Rangatoto, an iconic view uh, for Aucklanders. Um, this is a, a great place to bring a picnic. It was a really quick hike up the hill, probably about five minutes, which is perfect for our current level of fitness. So yeah, do come and check it out and enjoy these beautiful views of the Waitemata Harbour. Taking a short break as we wait for the ferry. What have we got there, Tim? Uh, Pinot Gris, I believe. Oh. Um, a little bit of refreshment before we get back on the ferry. We're a little bit early. Okay, we're some really cool location. You can see the park over there. Um, and yeah, this is a really interesting ambience here in the air. It's a great place to stop if you want to just need a drink while you're Cheers. Cheers. Back in Brito Mart now. Pretty close to where the ferry gets in and we're going to go get some food. So we're going to go to Amano, but not the restaurant, the bakery, and get some delicious sandwiches that are really good value and super yummy. Come with me. I've gone for the pan au chocolat. Um, I was going to go for the vegetarian sandwich option. It's really good. It's like mozzarella, courgette, basil. Really elevates the humble courgette. Um, but alas, we got here a little bit too late. So um, sugar it is. So I'm going to have to have a little bite here. Shuts all those layers. Mm. So flaky and buttery. And as you'd expect, it's delicious. I'm happy with my decision making. 
I was lucky. They do have what I wanted, which is a spicy chicken sandwich on like a nice home baked bread. Uh, another one they do is like a meatballs one. I've had that too. That's really good. But this looks really good. Spicy chicken mayo slaw, pickled onions, and like a sourdough kind of like bread. Give it a taste for you. Mmm. Mm. What's the verdict? It's really nice. Hey, Only a little bit spicy. Mm. Right, well we've been insanely well fed. Uh, now we're going to take a little break, get freshened up, and next up will be dinner on K Road at an awesome place called Cotto, which does sort of casual Italian. Can't wait. Okay, so we've just showered and restarted the engines. We've now arrived at Rangahapi Road, or known as K Road. Um, this is a really interesting place, quite eclectic and artsy. Um, it's also the LGBTQI heart of Auckland, um, and a really solid dining district. Uh, we love this place, it's not sanitized, it's not boring, it's always a bit of an adventure. So we're gonna head to Koto now, come join us. Once we got to Koto, we added ourselves to the waiting list, headed across the road to Carmen Jones for a cheeky drink. Drinks have arrived. What do you think? Good. Smile water. I stand by my choice, I think. Very good. And not sweet at all. Okay, so we're onto the wines. Um, as a Kiwi, it's a point of pride that our white wine is so damn good. This particular drop is from Lake Hayes, the Sauvignon Blanc. Um, so Citro Otago, very well known uh, wine region in New Zealand. Um, experience comes to me this is going to be quite good, so I'll go with Ruff. Sometimes food, yep, definitely. That some time is now. It's a spiritual experience. It is so good. You've got to try this. Look at this. The cotter gnocchi. Well, this looks good. So 
sounds like. And the asparagus and ricotta and this mint, basil, so much freshness, so much brightness from the zest of the lemon as well. No, really good. Okay, food's been eaten. It was absolutely delicious. With a full stomach. Cheers. Cheers! Well thank you for joining us today on our short tour of Tamaki Makoto Auckland. I hope you enjoyed it, we sure did. This is just the tip of the iceberg so stay tuned for more videos. Thanks! Bye!